Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the episode with the twos, episode 22 of Sky Factory 2. Yes, we're full of two today. I mean, we're not really full of two. I'm not going to do the number two. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right, all right. So I got rid of the kitty cat. No more kitty cats. I'm wearing my sunglasses at night. I wear my sunglasses at night. So, I, all right, that's enough. I know I can't sing worth a crap. All right, so what are we doing in today's episode? Well, previous episode, we learned how to make soul sand using this stuff here. Uh, I believe that was episode 10. If you want to watch it, go back. This shows you how to make soul sand. We're not making soul sand today. Today, we are going to learn how to make in stone a nether rack. All right, real quickly, let's make a few things that we're going to need. First thing we're going to need is a vacuum. And, you know, I used the vacuum chest in the previous episode, in episode 10. I think I'm falling in love with the vacuum hopper even more. So, real quickly, I need a hopper. I don't have one. And I don't think you saw the recipe. That wasn't really nice to me, was it? Let's go ahead and back to this. The vacuum hopper is just some iron with a, a chest in it. No big deal. We're going to throw that back in our system. We also need an eye of ender. I'm out of those. It's just uh, ender pearls with some blaze powder. Blaze powder, yep. And then we need a, some obsidian, which I have that. And I actually have a way of making obsidian. I'll show you how I make obsidian. But I got tons of obsidian by the bags of holding or whatever you call those things. Tons of the tons of that stuff. All right, so we got our vacuum. I think I just looked at the intermittent. That's not good. We also need a stone barrel. That's just right here. It's just basically stone with a slab. We're going to get that out. No biggie. Let's see, what else do we need? We need an item duck, just one. I got 10, but I only need one of these, so let's put that in there. I need some redstone. That's one word, isn't it? There we go. I'm going to get about two stacks of this stuff, and I'll show you why. This is what we're going to use to make our, our um, nether rack out of. And then we need, what else do we need? The Oh, glowstone. Let's get that first before we go to the next part. I just want one of those. Use the glowstone, it makes end stone. And the redstone will make our nether rack. I just want to show you how to make it, so we'll use the glowstone just to show you. And then we need the autonomous, ton, is it in or yeah, autonomous activator, which we made these in like the first or second episode. We need a servo, which is just glass around some iron and redstone, no big deal. We also need a piston, which I believe I have some, but it won't hurt to make any more. It's just stone and iron and some redstone and some wood. Not a big thing at all. Chests are easy. We all know how to make chests. So we make tons of chests in our lifetime. We need two of these. Uh, is, is, I think it's 10 gear. 10 gears wrapped around a piece of iron. I need two of those. One, two. And that's all we need to make our activator. So shift question mark. Got it. So that's everything we need. I believe that, that we need. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah stone barrel. Yep. Da, da, yep. That's everything we need to make nether rack. And we're going to automate it. That's why we needed some of this other stuff. So I'll explain that how it works in a minute. All right. We have rain. So when I put the barrel down, it's going to rain on us. Let's put that there. That way we don't fill up our barrel with water. And I am, whoops, passed my pick. And I'm going to cut that out right now. Now that's my lava pipe. I use, I've changed the fluid pipes around. I could show you around, but I hate episodes where people show you everything. Oh, look what I did in the last episode, between the last episode and today. And you didn't get to see any of it. I just did it on my own. No, I, I, I hate those kind of episodes. So uh, if you like to stick at the end, I just might show you around a little bit. All right, so we put our barrel there, our stone barrel. It will automatically connect to our lava pipe there, and it will automatically fill up. Just like this one did down here. If you see this, that's lava, uh, not lava, that's uh, obsidian there. Obsidian, wa water, and lava make obsidian. So whenever I click it, you'll see lava fill it back up. Well, actually, it was so fast, you know, it didn't fill it up. Water hits it, and it turns into obsidian. So that's our obsidian generator. Um, I really don't need it anymore because I got so much of it coming out of the bags holding also. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to put our autonomous activator right here and if you place it down wrong it, it's the X right there I can see it now you can hit it with your crescent wrench it'll turn it around a little bit I guess I can do it real quick it, see it just keeps turning it so until it gets to the point where you want it you can see the X a little bit right there a little bit here so we want the X point towards it and before we get this thing rocking we need to go ahead and put our vacuum here 
shift and place it as you do it. And then we're going to click on our vacuum and on the right hand side we've got two things. One is fluids I believe. That's our XP output and this is our uh, item output. We're going to click on the top that's going to show where our output is going to go. We're going to click on this thing also and we're going to click on the chest here and we want this one to be blue. So that's our input. Now we're going to put our item duct right here on top and it connects right to it. You can tell by the arrows, this one, we're just going to turn off the redstone, it's the output. This isn't out, this is going to go in, so we need to change this to insert. Alright, so now, everything that gets sucked in here is going to go into here. So if I drop something right here, it's going to go in, and I don't want to drop obsidian because it will take forever for it to, block, lock over, to break over there. So you just go ahead and put the first thing in, glowstone in here, and you see it changes to end stone. The end stone has gotten sucked in here, now it's getting hammered, and it's going to get sieved. And I'll show you the sieving part in just a minute. And sieves in, in stone. Uh, actually, it's crushed in stone at that point. All right, let's go ahead and put our redstone in here. And now we have the ender rack. The ender rack is going to get sucked into the activator. The activator is going to place it. And then the other activator is crushing it with a hammer. I did this, I forgot what episode. But it shows you how to, to get all this done. Uh, and then it's going to sieve it. So we are now sieving the end stone and it's getting sucked in all the way back over here alright so why am I doing all this why why is this so important to me well I want to make some really cool tinker construct tools and to make really cool tinker construct tools we need cobalt and ardite I believe it is let's go ahead and look at this uh, S-I-E-V-E -E. now right click on this thing one over okay let's go this way I think all right, that's the end stone. The end stone only gives us lead, uh, silver, tin, and platinum. Platinum's okay. I could use that, but it's not as important as the other one. Whoops, I messed up there. Let's go back to end stone. This is now the crushed end nether rack. Sorry. This is the crushed nether rack. And this also gives me ardite and cobalt. And then you mix those two together and you get melanum, melanum, something like that. Those are the two... Those are the three really good things for Tinker Constructs and some of their tools. So I wanted to automate this, that way I can walk away from it some and it gets get everything auto-sieved and help us get those two things that we really want. So that is the end of today's episode. It's just a short episode. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, and we're going to have a part two. I'm going to continue around showing what I've done in between the episodes. If you're interested, you're welcome to stick around. But that is the meat and potatoes of today's episode, how to make in stone and nether rack, and then crush it, and then we can use it to make the uh, other stuff. If you have leaving us now, make sure you like and subscribe if you learned something new. If I missed something and I didn't quite get it right, make sure you put it in the comments below. I've enjoyed the comments. I've gotten a few really good ones. So again, thanks for watching, and if not, stick around and we'll show you around what I've done, and we'll do the boring part. All right, hold on to your hats. Okay, in between episodes, what I have done, I have made a third level of this uh, lava generating that we use. And I've modified it a little bit. I've taken out the transverse pipes by, who makes transverse pipes? Um, who makes the transfer pipes? Extra Utilities. I've taken all those out because they seem to be a little, bit, a little sluggish. And I have changed them to the Ender I.O. pipes. Um, you got the fluid pipes in the middle moving the lava and then you got the item pipes on top. I think I could have combined those but it, I kind of like the way this looks. Also got rid of the barrel of plenty I had here in the middle level. I'll go ahead and put this back on. The, the middle level here and just use one barrel plenty for all three levels. And I added I think one more upgrade into the bottom so we can get that. You see. There we go. Yeah I added one upgrade and that keeps it enough uh, cobblestone going in all these lava generators just one barrel the reason I really wanted to do it is that the cobblestone here if it gets too close to the uh, pyrothion you see the blazing pyrothion it changes it to stone so I was able to use the blazing pyrothion here excuse me if I'm butchering that name and where I can only use the lava right there so that was the main reason that I'm doing that and it also is, is more compact and it uses it a lot better. And then I also changed all my piping to the lava piping all the way through. And it seems to feed the generators a lot better. So you might ask, why did I add an extra level? Well, because I had an extra generator here and it was sucking up the power. 
Why am I adding an extra generator, you might ask? Uh, because I needed more power. Why did I need more power? Well, I got to working on this a little bit, and I realized I might need just one more level. Oh, it's missing. I'll be damned. I'll, I'll, there's another one missing there. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, another level of the first compression. So it goes from regular com to compressed cobblestone. So I can get 10 of these all together, and they go down here to this first level here. And then we get the compressed cobblestone. And then once it gets compressed, it goes to double compressed. And again, I don't know if I remember you, you, previous episodes, it gets to this point and it goes back to the beginning and starts working itself around again. Um, I, have, uh, I have cheated. I have decided to let you know I am cheating in this game. I do use cheats and I'm going to show you how I use it right now. Let's see, options, global, inventory. We're going to change this to cheat mode. And the reason I'm doing cheat mode is for some reason this auto... Uh, auto packer P I believe it is yeah it keeps disappearing on me and I don't know why um, I don't think they're made to be used up but for some reason they just disappear and I can't figure out why now, whoops let's see if I can get up here I mean if I'm wrong and cheating in this let me know I don't think they're supposed to just break and disappear uh, let me see Do I, I got all these up here so I'll come back. One time I had like four or five of them missing. I don't know why. So let's get this cheat back off. That is the only reason I have cheated so far in this game. Um, I, I guess I could keep making them, but recipe. I don't see that being right. And I think it's a hiccup in the system that they just disappear on us. So that is the way I've been cheating. And that's the only thing I've done. I've had, that's why I've added all the lava, what I had to add to the generator, because I added these things. And these things take up a lot of power. And it seems once I added that, I added the generators. And the piping was the last thing I did. And that seemed to really help out a lot. It seems like now I have too much lava. But that's okay. You, can, you can't do with too much lava. Add an extra level up here. And the last episode when I was making some of the stuff here, I forgot to tell you, don't forget to turn off the switch here. That'll keep this stuff from flowing here. And it'll help it flow right here. Just one of those aha moments. And then someone has told me in the, the traveling staff thing that use more of these anchors around and I don't need to use the traveling staff to get around it. If I'm standing on it and I look at it, I jump on it and I'm there, which is kind of cool. Let's get back over here. Um, one of my users, let's see, where is it? Here it is. It gets me all the way here. Uh, hey, Steve. Let's go ahead and kill him real quick. So it's a cool thing, just jump when you see it, and it'll work for you, no problems at all. You don't even need the traveling staff charged up or anything. So these little anchors, I got them placed all over the place. Let's see if I can get to the... There's that one. I got one over here also, if I can get... There it goes. Oh, there you go. So these traveling anchors are really cool. Make sure you use them if you want to get around real quick. Um, flying is also good. I want to make sure I thank the user that keeps telling me, Razor X 2015 He's the one that keeps telling me about these things. He's also told me about these. In the episode, I said 16 was the max. Because um, Reddit, I read it there that said, Reddit, you can only use 16. So I've upgraded these things to 32. I can, I can get up to a stack of these. I just It takes forever to make them. So I haven't made them. I think I got in half. I don't think I got in these back here. 22. So... I, the balancing act I've learned so far is if I get 32 here and 7 up here, that balances it out where you can't even see that they're changing. Um, so it's 32 down there and 7. So I'm wondering if 64 and 14. But that takes a lot of resources and just I, I'll, I'll gradually get to them. I haven't gotten 32 in all of them yet, just the first ones here. So those still have 22 in them. Let's see. 22, 22. So yeah. And these, you can see, they bounce around a little bit. So they're not evenly, you know, timed out right, right. So my goal is to get to them to 32 and then 7 on the top. And that's where we'll go from there. All right, let's see. What else have we done in between episodes? Um, I had to learn to use MC Edit. I don't use it much. Uh, I'm looking around to see if there's anything else I need to talk about. Um, for some reason, I, I talked about how every time I logged on, there's tons of skeletons over here. And no, I didn't look at you, so don't mess with me. Well, I'll die. Hopefully it won't come back and bother me. 
All right. I, every time I logged off and logged back in, there'd be tons of wither skeletons over here, and they would just come out like crazy. And for some reason, it was it was freaking out. So I went to MC Edit. I, I was able to select this whole area and delete entities. Once I deleted the entities, there's little red blocks in there. Um, it went back to normal. So now they're everything spawning back to normal. So when I log off and log back in, no, I don't have a hundred thousand extra little things. And I've also turned off. Uh, my little unit a little bit. That way we can get some blaze rods. I was running low on blaze rods. I need the blaze powder to, to generate the uh, igneous. Or, I always get these wrong. What are these called? Dynamos. The reactant dynamos. I'm running uh, blaze powder. And I was running low on them. So I've turned off the water inside. I went inside, got rid of the water. And now it's the blaze are coming down. And I've got tons of blaze rods now. So basically, that is what I've been doing in between episodes. Um, so I think I've gotten rid of everything here. So again, thanks for watching. <laughs> Those glasses kill me. Again, if you see something you've liked in this episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I believe there will be a button on the screen. I might add it. I keep thinking I'm going to. And again, if you see something I need to know, like Razor x2015 has told me he's given me a few good suggestions make sure you leave suggestions down below and i'll give you credit for it and i will try to uh, use it in future episodes again thanks for watching and have a great day guys